Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and draw or illustrate this design in Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. So back when I was making tutorials on Adobe Illustrator, I made an effect called as origami effect elephants. And um, I was just revisiting that. And I also saw a Procreate tutorial on a technique like this. And I thought, hmm, why don't I go back and draw an elephant again? So guys, today we're going to go ahead and draw this thing and it's going to be super easy. You don't really need any drawing skills at all. And we're going to try and use vector brush for our main illustration. So it's going to be fun. So let's just get started. Click on create new, go to digital and click on current screen size. Since my iPad is in the portrait mode, my screen size is going to be like this. You can actually click this and switch to landscape if you want, whatever you like, it's up to you. Now click on that. Now I have an image and a color palette for you guys. So go ahead and download the image and the color palette from the link in the description box below. And once you have done with that, let's go ahead and bring it in here. So click on your images, go to your photos and bring in the color palette. Okay, so I have a color palette like this, but you can go ahead and choose any color palette that you want. You can also go ahead and modify the colors once you have done with the illustration by using the hue, saturation, what is that? Hue, brightness, saturation, what was that? hue or saturation icon here as well. So it's totally up to you. Use your own color palettes if you want, okay? So my colors are basically this. These are going to be the colors of the elephant and these are going to be the colors of the background. So let's go ahead and pick these colors now. To do that, just click and hold until this icon pops up and you can just draw on the artboard. By the way, you have to be on one of these three brushes. Any will do and just scribble on the artboard. Let's go ahead and do that. Once you're done, if you go into your colors, You'll see them under recents. Now let's go ahead and hide this by clicking on this eye. Let's hide the color palette as well. So now let's go ahead and bring in the image. So you can click on these images. If you have the image in your photos, go ahead and click that. I have mine in files, so I'm just going to click that and browse and to that particular folder and get this in. Okay, so I have my image now. I'm just going to increase this a little bit and click on done. Now go to these levels and reduce this opacity so that we can see where the image is with respect to the artboard. And before you want to resize this thing to fit your artboard, make sure you go into your settings and go ahead and uncheck this artboard preview. Only then you can see this white background, otherwise you cannot, okay? And now let's go ahead and click on the transform tool. And I'm going to increase this size so that I have just the head of the ele elephant in the frame. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I think that looks good. But you see the head of this elephant is a little tilted. So I'm going to go ahead and use this arrow here or the handle here and rotate it a little bit so that it's straight. And I'm going to modify this so it goes and sits nicely in the center. And now you can see it's fine. Click on done. And we have the, our image ready. Now click on a new layer. I'm going to go in my vector brush and I will go into basic and I'm going to use the basic round. There's one tiny adjustment that you have to do for this. And that is click on your brush settings here and make sure you turn off the pressure dynamics and velocity dynamics. We don't want anything. So basically your brush should be normal. Even if you put pressure fast or slow, it doesn't matter. By the way, I'm really sorry about all the noise. I'm right in the middle of a metropolitan city. So the traffic noises is just, yeah, it, you cannot avoid it. I also turned off my air conditioning and I'm sitting in a really hot room right now uh, just so that I can avoid some noises in this video. I can do post-processing but it really does not remove all the noises even if I want to and so it modifies the voice and the other things and I'm not really good at it so yeah I'm sorry about that. Anyway coming back here now that we have the face of the elephant ready now let's go ahead and draw it. So I'm going to click on my colors, go into black and my vector brush is set to, you can choose any number. Maybe let's set it to 17 or 18. You can click and hold and uh, go it up and down or click and hold and then maybe write 17 like this. Let's check the thickness. I think this should be good. So this thickness is what you want the white space to be. So make sure you are doing it properly. Okay. All right. So now we are going to go ahead and draw the outline and I'm talking about the outline of just the face. But we're going to divide the face into three parts. It's the left here, the right here, and the center elephant. If you notice carefully, you can see that the left ear is smaller than the right here. 
So obviously it's not uniform. I really don't care about uniformity so as to make our lives a little bit easier and so that we don't have to repeat our work a lot. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the left here and then duplicate it to the right here. So we're going to do only two things. That's the ear and the whole face and the trunk, right? So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and um, just draw the outline of the elephant. I think 17 is a little too big for this. Maybe uh, 13 or something. Let's see. I'm just going to go back and check if the thickness is okay. Okay, that's fine. You can use two finger to undo, by the way. And go ahead and carefully draw the outline. See, it's a bit shaky. You can actually increase the smoothness here. So click here and you can increase the smoothing to about 70 or something so that you have a little bit of nicer curve happening. I'm not drawing this like this and all that. Okay, don't worry about all those. Just make sure you have a nice little ear like that. By the way, there's one more thing about vectors is that you can use a vector trimming. So if you want to have nice little crispy edges, go ahead and draw the extra things like this. And now let's draw here, extend this. And now you can just click on this shortcut. If you don't have it, go ahead and click on the touch shortcut, double click. Now it's an eraser, click again and the outer ring is selected. And now if you do this, it'll just erase off excess things, okay? Just remember that. And once you want to get out, just double click and you'll be out. You can move this anywhere you want on the screen. Okay, so our ear is ready. And now what we're going to do is put in some triangles in it. Just remember, by end of the artwork, your artwork should have only triangles, not quadrilaterals, okay? What I mean is just take your thing, click and drag and click and hold until it becomes a straight line. So if your snap line is not turned on, you can turn it on by going to settings, go to app settings, Go to input and there should be something here. Let me just quickly check. Okay, under touch and you see the snap line, make sure you turn it on. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect this line to some other here. Click and hold so that it's a straight line and I'll draw some lines randomly in the beginning. And this point, because that thing was sticking out, you know, I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to connect this here. No, that won't work because we'll get a quadrilateral. So I'm going to connect this. You can make these triangles as small as you want or as big as you want. It's totally up to you. So if you have smaller triangles, that means you'll have a lot of color that you can give. Let me go ahead and fill this thing a little bit. Okay, I think that's great, but I see a lot of dots. I don't know what I was doing. I'm just going to go ahead and erase that off using my eraser tool over here. And that's cool. Oh, I forgot about this one. Okay, let's go ahead and put the vector brush. And again, and cut this off so that it's nice. And we have only one ear now. So now let's go ahead and color this off. And that is also very, very simple. You can keep the elephant here if you want it. I'm just going to hide it because I don't really need it to show this step of the illustration. So I'm going to go back into the layer which has my marks, right? But wait a minute, we have to double click this and let go of the whatever mode we are on. So click and now click on set as reference. So what this does is it makes sure this, this line work is our reference. Okay, now click on a new layer and now you can use your fill tool to basically color this elephant as a coloring page. By the way, I have a video on how to use reference layers to create reusable coloring pages. So if you haven't watched it yet, I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Go ahead and take a look. So let's go here and I'm going to choose one of the colors. Doesn't matter which one, you can choose any color that you want. And let's go ahead and color in some of the triangles here with the vector fills. Try to keep everything vector. That's much more easier and nicer. So try to basically just put some triangles don't stress too much about it right now because uh, you don't really care where you're putting these things. So I'm just going to randomly put it. Now I'll choose this other pink and I'm going to go ahead and put that as well. Oops, not on the line. So now let's go ahead and choose the brown that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and put some browns here and there because why not? 
We may have to do some adjustments later on because uh, we don't want two colors coming in close together. Okay, and next we'll choose the other color that we have. And I think it's this one. Um, 147, 93 and 16. And let's go ahead and fill this up. Okay, you see one thing here, it's not nice. So I'm going to click and hold for this color and fill it. Okay, that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and release this as a reference layer. Click and release reference. That's great. Now let's go ahead and group these two things together. Click and drag and put it on top of that so that they get grouped like this, okay? Click and then duplicate layers, group. That's cool. But before that, go back and bring in your elephant so that you know where it is. Now go back to the group that you created just now. Click on the transform tool and let's flip it like this and drag it and make sure you place it somewhere here so it's nice and symmetrical. Then click on done. Great, that's done. Now it's time to make the face. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on a new layer and go back to your black and take the vector brush. And let's go ahead and do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to make the edges as well. So if you get confused, you can go ahead and hide this and then make a sketch like this as well. But I want to keep it because so that I can see the edge over here. So let me start from here. So obviously on a new layer, it's okay if you're not really, really on the line. If there's a little bit of mistake of going here and there, it's okay because we can put it in the background and it'll still look good. I really wouldn't recommend having things like this. That does not look good. All right, that's done. Let's take our eraser and erase this off. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and hide this just to see what's happening. Okay, it looks good. Only thing left is task. So I'm going to click on a new layer and I will use the vector brush and go ahead and draw the task. We're done with the task as well. So let's go ahead and now color this one. So we're going to do the same thing that we did for the ears. That is, we're going to use the vector brush and go back into the layer where you have actually drawn the elephant. And let's go ahead and draw some random lines. And try to fix these things by actually using this here. Okay, let me go ahead and finish this off. Okay, so when I come here, I'm going to make sure that I draw the eyes out. And I'm going to make sure I draw the lines around that. So if you get confused with like, how do I make these things? Just remember, if you see any space like this, any quadrilateral, you just have to draw a triangle. Let me pull back and see. Okay, I think that looks good. I can actually put more here. I think I'm happy with whatever is here. So let's go ahead and fill it with color now. I'm going to use the same color palette that I have. I'll use the fill tool. Make sure you click and make this as a reference layer. Click on a new layer. And now let's go ahead and choose the color that is this pink, the light pink one first. And let's go ahead and fill it with vector. I'm just going to blindly fill some areas here. And I will go ahead and fill it with the next color. Let's choose the next one that's a brown and make sure you fill in the light colors around the eye area and not the dark color that we have so that the eye kind of stands out. Let's choose the dark color. So I see that I have a lot of dark color tiles here which I really don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of the lighter colors here and try to Minimize these dark colored ones. All right, let's go check the ears now because um, I just realized maybe we have to get rid of some of that as well because I see that there's a lot of darker ones here. So I'm going to go into the left ear now and I will try to, oh, you have to go here and release reference, go to the inside. You can go inside a group by double clicking. 
then go to this here and click and set as reference. Now it's a reference and then you can easily color things out like this. Oh, go here by the way and then you can color. See one thing which I did, now these two are not same. So you can go back here and I'm not going to try and make them equal. It's it's just totally out of question. So I will go ahead and make this release reference. It released over there and set reference. To release a reference, you don't have to go to a particular layer. You can do it from any place actually. So I'm just, I just have brown here. So probably gonna add some of these over here, not here, here. So undo that, set as reference. Okay, let's take this light pink. Once you're happy with all your colors and drawings, it's now time to move on to the next stage. But wait a minute, I just see that I haven't colored my eyes and I left out a bit of here. So I'm going to go in here and release the reference from wherever it is and go ahead and set as reference. Select this darker color and put in for the eyes. You can also put in black if you want to. So go ahead and do that. I'm taking this brown and I'm filling it over here so that everything is colored. Here as well. Okay, now it's good. Let's go ahead and uncheck the image layer because we don't want it anymore, right? And I see that it's not actually straight, but that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Please make sure that your diagram is completely straight. If it's not, you can go ahead and edit it later as well. So don't worry about it. Hmm? Okay, so now it's time to make some modifications. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go to the layer, which is the left ear, click on a new layer, and I'm going to click on the clipping mask. The reason I'm doing this is I want to make sure there's a difference between these two layers over here, right? Because the head and the ears, the ears have to be in the back, the head in the front. But right now you can't actually figure out where does the ears end and where does the head start and things like that. So go to basics, basic brush here, that is soft round opacity. And let's keep the color black. And my setting is at 337. You can click and hold and write 337. I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of shadow here. So don't put too much pressure, it becomes dark. So add a little bit so that this area is a little darker like that. And we're going to go ahead and go to the next ear here, click on plus and down arrow or clipping mask. Then we're going to add some here as well, just under the head. See that I'm moving the brush on the head here and not actually here. It came a little too dark. Okay, now it's all right. I know you can't see the FX head, but Wait for a minute. Now let's go ahead and do the background. Go to the bottom most layer. Click on this plus sign. Oops, too many. Plus sign to create a new layer. Now let me go ahead and choose this purple that I have. Cancel. Go to your vector brush. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line like this. You can make sure it is straight if you want. Otherwise, you can let go as well. Uh, let me make it a little higher. And I'm going to add a bit here. Nope. I want to make it a bit higher like this and then a bit like that and then over here maybe and then over here like that now let's go ahead and click on the artboard preview everything cuts off perfect now we need to fill this in but wait a minute we have the reference layer to set to one of these layers see here so let's go ahead and release reference now go to your fill tool now go to that layer with the lines and fill it in with the vector fill and i'm going to go ahead and choose the other green that i have that's 95 92 and 20 and uh, probably try to fill that in perfect now let's click and duplicate layer go to your settings here and maybe let's make this multiply go to your transform tool i'm going to go ahead and make it the opposite like this and i'm going to move this so that it's over here like that okay and click on done i'll go back here and reduce the opacity like that but i see that it didn't create the kind of effect that i wanted it to create it's a bit off over here but that's okay let's just click on that and maybe increase this or something so that it creates the kind of effect that we wanted it to create adjust it however you want by the way okay click on done now let's go ahead and click on this and click on duplicate layer I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's on the screen maybe. That's good. Now click on the layer here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it like this. That is 90 degree. If this doesn't snap at 90, make sure you go here and click on rotation snapping and you can actually select 45, 90, whatever you want. And now let's click on the transform again because I let it go. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this so that I have a very nice design like this. Click on done. 
You can do that again, click and duplicate layer. And this time you can change it to something else. Maybe you can do overlay or soft light. Try out different things. Actually, it really doesn't matter what you're trying to do as long as it gives a really nice effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do it the opposite. That is 180 like this and uh, try to arrange it a little bit like that. Click on done. Obviously, you can do more things here. Click on a new layer. And if you feel like I don't like the things that I've turned out, click on the color that you want. Go back to your vector fill and maybe make one more thing here like that. Straighten it out and like that. And fill it in. Go to your tools here and you can always click on multiply and click on done. And then you have that as well. And wait, I'm not done yet. So I'll go back to my tool. I'm going to go ahead and draw a straight line. Oh wait, I'm not on this level. Go to a new layer and I'm going to go ahead and draw a line straight and parallel. I'm going to go ahead and make one here as well. That's nice. I'll go to my eraser tool and I've kept it at 76. Just check what looks good on this. And I'm going to erase off a few lines here like that. I'm not being too careful by the way. I'm just drawing random things like that. That looks good, but I definitely don't want that. I'm going to click on multiply. That is good. If you want to reduce it a little bit, that's good. Duplicate that. Change this to a screen because I really like screen actually and reduce the opacity as well. And then click on the transform tool and maybe make something like this. What do you think? But you have to increase this so that it goes and sits nicely where we want. And obviously it's going to increase this thing here. You can always go to the eraser tool and delete off things that you forgot to delete last time. Great, our background is ready as well. Now one thing you left to do is to give this elephant a little bit more uh, character or to make it pop up on the screen, right? So what we're going to do now is go into all of these reference layers. Uh, for example, this one, if you want to retain the black, go ahead and duplicate it. Otherwise, just go to this layer, go to your fill tool and let's select white and zoom right in and click so that that becomes all white like that okay now let's go to the ears double click go to this layer and click on white and you see what happened here that's because we put the shadow on the ears so obviously it's on both layers so let's click and hold go inside that and keep it on top of this layer and that will apply only to the color part i'll show you exactly what i did don't freak out so when you go ahead and click and hold, it gets selected. I'm going to place it on the ear layer and it will go inside the group. Now I'm going to go above this layer. Oops. And then place it here. And then you have your clipping mask ready. And let's go to this layer and color this. That is great. Now let's go ahead and add some outside texture to it. Okay. So I'm going to go into the background layer, whatever background I have. Click on a new layer, go to your vector brush. Make sure you increase this to 18, 19, I guess. Let's go ahead and check. This is too thin. It needs to be much higher. 70. Yes, 70 looks good. I'm going to go ahead and draw along this line. And make sure this la layer should be in the bottom, not on top of the elephant. Because we don't want that extra white to show up on top. Hide the layers. Okay, you have the task here. So we're going to go ahead and cover the task. That's perfect. But I see that the head and the ears are not still distinct. So I'm going to go into layers now and go into the ear layer. And I'm going to go into this clipping mask or the shadow which I put. Go back to your brush. You can actually go into recent and you'll see all the brushes that you've used. So I'll go into soft round opacity. All the brushes from the pixel brushes that you've used, okay? And going to black, my settings are still the same. I'm going to add a bit more of shadow here. And I'll do the same thing for the other ear as well. Go here and add a bit more shadow. Let me remove this. And there you go. Your artwork is ready. It's so simple, isn't it? You can actually make a lot of things like this. You just need an image and... Um, yeah, voila, you have really stunning art. So you see that here, uh, I used a very thick vector brush. So if I had used a thinner one, it would have looked something like this. So I guess if you want, you can go ahead and use the thinner one if you feel like this is the look you're going for. And uh, that's it. Once you have everything ready, you can click on share, 
publish and export export as and you can export it as a png and save it to wherever you want and if you don't want the background you can just hide the background and export it and you can get a sticker out of it that is to hide the background make sure you hide everything that you have drawn over here and also this white layer in the bottom so that's it that brings us to the end of this tutorial and i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that like button and if you want you can also click on super thanks and um, say thanks with some money i guess <laughs> it's okay if you don't want to i really just hit the like button and that would make me happy as well uh, you can also support my channel by buying me a coffee on coffee.com i do have a tiny store on coffee there are some freebies as well go check it out if you do create something using one of my tutorials, don't forget to tag me on Instagram that is at print me some color and think beyond color. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified when I create a new video. If you have any questions or requests, don't hesitate to comment below. I will try to answer it as soon as I can. Okay, I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.